Hello everyone, it's me, Dilly Sims. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun speed build for you guys. I'm so sorry it was supposed to go up yesterday, but yesterday I was mm, at a busy slash out of town. So today's speed build is if you watch, De if you ever watch Desperate Housewives or if you've been on the Universal lot, it's Susan Mayer's house from Desperate Housewives. Why did I decide to make a house that already exists, because usually I don't. It's to pay tribute. Because if you, you guys all know Minecraft. On Minecraft, for the PlayStation 3, I built Wisteria Lane. If you don't know what, what Wisteria Lane is, I have to do some background stuff for you guys. So Wisteria Lane is the street that the TV show Desperate Housewives takes place on. I built that entire street. Like, all the houses on that street, the street itself, the little park that is in the middle, and the houses, inside and out, I decorated, or furnished. So like Susan Mayer's house that I'm making right now, I created the outside, like the set, and then inside, I built the inside set too. I put so much time and detail and hours into that build. And then yesterday I went in because I was like, oh, I have to go, my friend's coming over next week, so I just want to make sure it looks nice. And so I went and there was an update, so I updated it, and I was like, okay. And then I tried to play it, and I think the update deleted my file or whatever. I mean, it's still there. Like, I can see it, and it's still there, but I can't, how do I put this? When I open it to play it, it's not the same land that I have. The houses are all gone, because I had a whole little town there. I had Wisteria Lane, I had a po- no, I didn't have a post office. Police station, hospital, my, my mansion, my sister's mansion, a hotel, a church, strip club, all that fun stuff. And it was all gone because it was a completely new land. But when you go to open up the file or whatever, or the game, and you look at the picture, you can see that it's still a, a picture of Wisteria Lane. Which is strange because it's not there anymore. And last, how do I put this? During our most previous fixer-upper, which was Casa Verde. I talked about something that made me really, really angry, and I would just talk about it during my speed build this week. It was this. This is what I was really mad about, was losing my hours and hours and hours of work on Minecraft. And then, I also told you guys that there's something that came up in my life that I'll have to talk to you guys about that also makes me very, very angry, and it'll be the reason why I can't upload more videos than I already am. Or if I cut back on videos, you guys know why, and this is why. And again, I have to do some more background st stuff for you guys. A few months ago, I want to say like a month or two ago. I was driving home from school so I could change to go to work and while I was driving home I was in the fast lane and there were two cars in front of me and I was driving you know listening to my podcast and a cop pull comes up from behind me turns on his little like sirens tells me to pull over and I was like shit I wasn't even going that fast to tell the truth and so he pulls me over and no 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 he tells me to pull over and I've never been pulled over before because I'm such a good boy so I pull over to the left which is apparently the wrong side of the street to pull over and he tells he tells me to get back on the freeway and pull over to the right side of the road which is the right place to turn over to and so I did and he, the police officer walks up to my window and I'm scared shitless because this is the first time I've ever been pulled over and he says 
didn't you see me? And I said, yes, because I did see him on the freeway, except I was going the speed of traffic, so I thought I was fine. And he said, I got you going 78. 78 on the freeway. It's not even that fast, guys. Like, literally, it's not that fast. I have gone faster on the freeway. I don't understand why this time I got a ticket. If I got a ticket for going 80, 90 miles per hour, I would have understood and I would have deserved it. But no, I was going 78. It made me so angry. And he... Okay, back to... And I'm gonna rewind again. So, he was like, okay, license and registration. So I pulled out my wallet, grabbed my license, and I was handing it over to him and I was shaking because this is the first time I was pulled over. I was scared shitless. And then he's like, okay, registration. So I, I looked at him and I said, okay, I, this is the first time I've ever been pulled over. I don't know what registration looks like. So I opened my glove compartment and I pulled out every single piece of paper I could find because I don't know what registration is. And then I pulled them all out and I was looking through it and he helped me find the registration. So you could tell I'm a good boy. Why not just give me a warning for going 78 on the freeway? And then he, you know, he took my paperwork and he walked to his car and then he wrote me a ticket. I'm so mad about this. Like, why? I'm such a good kid, obviously. I've never been pulled over before. You could see it on my record. I, until now, I don't know what your registration is because I've never been pulled over before. And, as you could see by me sitting there shaking and basically shitting myself, I've never been pulled over before. So why not just give me a warning? It probably would have been just as effective. On me, at least. I don't know about other people, but on me. <laughs> and so, the reason I won't be able to be making as many videos as I have is because I have to go to, tr or not, I ha don't have to go to, but I'm taking online traffic school. And let me tell you about online traffic school. I understand the point for people who need it and deserve it, but I don't deserve and or need it because I was just going 78. I wasn't going that fast. And I, s oh, I also, in the video, let me stop, pause my story. I did skip a lot because I wanted to make sure that I could make this video short because normally I make my videos so long and then when I s speed it up, it's still not like, fast enough. So if I put it at times four, like making the video four times faster, it's the video still ends up being like 30 or 40 minutes. And I wanted to fix that. So I cut out a lot of stuff, so I made all the wallpapering and yeah. Anyways, where was I during my story? Yes, I was talking about traffic school. Okay, so traffic school is nice for people who need to go to traffic school who are bad drivers. I am not. I use my signals, I stop at stop signs, I do everything. So it's like so long and boring. And if you guys watch my videos, you know that I dislike my place of employment for a number of reasons, and you can watch all my videos and catch up with that drama. But I would rather go to work than take my online driving classes. It is so long and so boring. And like like I said, it's all stuff that I already know and already follow. And there are five chapters that I have to read and take a quiz on and write a little summary. And reading one chapter takes me about two hours because there is so much information in it. And when you take the like end of the chapter quiz, it's like little things that you probably wouldn't remember, like how many car deaths were there in California due to n not wearing a seatbelt in 2009? Like, the little things that you wouldn't really pay attention to. So, I had to start writing notes. It's just a horrible, horrible pain in the ass. Guys, follow the law. If it says go 35 on the freeway, go 35. 
because if not, a cop will rape you. He will take advantage of you. Like he took advantage of me. <laughs> yes. And that's why I won't be able to make as many videos because I have to be taking my online driving class, which takes me about two hours. Oh, and then I do have finals this week. Er, it's summer class, so I have a final this week, so I have to study for that. And that, I don't know how long I'll need to study for that. I feel pretty confident, mostly because everything that I learned in this class, I just like relearned from the class before. I, I don't know. I feel like we've been doing review up until like last week. And then this week, I think we're just learning a few more things and then we're taking our final, which is on everything that we've learned this sum. I was gonna say, yeah, this summer. So I feel very confident that I know everything, but I'm still gonna, you know, study because it's good to refresh your memory, see what's gonna be on the test, whatnot. And I don't want to retake math again. I hate it. I can't wait to be done with all my math classes. I have like one more math class to go to. I think two more math classes. Yeah. Two more math classes. No, one. One or, I'm gonna say one or two more math classes. And then I just have to talk to my counselor because I don't remember how to sign up for classes because I have to go to another, I have to go to Stanislaus because Stanislaus has a great teaching program and I want to be a teacher. Yeah. Good times, guys. How are you guys? I'm doing okay. I will survive. Oh, more story time. I just, I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. So you know how I should have gotten this video to you guys yesterday, but I was busy. So yesterday, me and my closest friends, Heather and Kayla, we all went to Sacramento because Kayla and Heather wanted to go to Lush. And I've never been to Lush. And so we went to Lush and we walked around the mall and oh my God, Lush is so much fun. It's like... If you've never been to a Lush, go to Lush. It's like all these beauty products and stuff that they sell and make, but it's not tested on animals. It's all organic stuff. So it's like stuff that you'd probably find on Etsy that somebody makes in their house. Like if you watch or if you watch slash listen to Twist of Insanity, what's her name? Kitty? Kitty makes her own stuff on Etsy. You can Google her. I think she's also Paintball Kitty. She's awesome and I love her. Um, but yes, I went to Sacramento. We walked around the mall. We went to the Lego store. Um, a few candy stores that they have in the mall. And I carried all their bags so I, felt, so I could feel like Carrie Bradshaw from Sex and the City. So it looks like I did a lot of intense shopping that day. Good times. And I was swinging my bags around hitting pedestrians it was so great I loved it and then oh and then we stopped at a sex shop and it was so great and I loved it I people who work at sex shops have the life I didn't really buy anything but it was great I love the experience we walked around we looked at things said ooh ah ew that's kind of gross just good times Good, good, good times. I'm sorry if you guys are younger and you guys are like, what's a sex shop? Sorry, little munchkins. And on our way to Sacramento, we stopped. Well, it was in Sacramento, I think. Were we in Sacramento? I don't remember. We stopped at um, a restaurant called. Oh my gosh, what is it called? It's like an Italian restaurant. Mimi's. Mimi's Cafe. We stopped at Mimi's Cafe. And so, like, me, Kayla, and Heather were sitting at a booth. And we were like eating our food and tr drinking and talking. And then three older women <laughs> sat at the booth right across from us. And <laughs> I was like, oh my God, look, that's our future. And it basically was our future. Three, I hope we all end up super old together because I love my, my friends. I love them so much. And there was like, an older woman who, with glasses who couldn't see anything, which would easily be Kayla. And then there was a chubbier woman who would easily be Heather. 
and there was another one who wore glasses and like didn't have mm, table manners and her like elbows were on the table and she was like a little skinnier but had a little belly and I was like that's amazing. I'm so happy to see that I'm gonna be slightly thin in the future yes goals in my life should I no I'm not gonna talk about the build yet I have time to talk about other things oh and then when we were driving back we were we stopped at a store because my sister called and she needed she desperately needed tapioca starch for God knows what something stupid probably and so we stopped at Save Mart, Save Mart, and I bought some tapioca, tapioca starch. And then we were driving home, and there were, okay, so Modesto is full of like crackheads. I will see them everywhere in Modesto, and I drive to Modesto sometimes five days a week to go to school, and they are everywhere. I'm telling you, when I'm serious, when I tell you that everywhere they're walking down the street talking to themselves they're arguing with um i was gonna say stop signs stop lights they're arguing with stop lights they're arguing with each other sometimes they're just walking around and you can tell that they're tweaking because they're doing something stupid like i don't know if i told you guys the story about um when i went to what is it called that hobby lobby I went to Hobby Lobby and I got out of my car and there was a woman who was easily on some type of like drug and she was like talking to herself and she had her arm and she was swinging her arm around and around and around while she walked <laughs> like she was a windmill or something. It was hilarious but I was also scared because I'm afraid that like a druggie is going to like kill me. It's just a fear that I have. And while we were driving back. There were two druggies, <laughs> and they were, how do I put this? So, it's like they removed the, the, the little gate or whatever on the sidewalk that goes into the sewer, and they were like sticking their entire body in there. Like the woman was like squatting next to it while, I don't, I don't know, her boyfriend, husband, crackhead, was like halfway in, like his legs were dangling out. And I, it was so weird to see that, I don't know, I'm not from an area with drugs and I can trust everybody because I live in a like white suburban town. It's great. This is like where I want to live in my future, somewhere where like there's not too many drugs or weirdos. Yes, my life is pretty interesting. Pretty. And, and this is a heads up, guys. So, for the next... Not in the, for the next. In the next few weeks, because in a month or so, it will be my birthday, and I will be turning 21. So, obviously, I'm not going to be... Sorry, this, uh, you guys are all awesome. But obviously, I'm not going to be recording a lot, because I'm planning on drinking a lot. <laughs> so, because my plans are I have a cocktail party, and then I also have, I'm going to go out partying and drinking with my friends. And I'll save these stories for another day. But for the early month of August, if I don't get a lot of videos out, and I plan on recording, like pre-recording a lot for you guys, if I don't get a lot of videos out, I'm so sorry. But just remember that I am having a really good time getting shit-faced and not remembering what I'm doing. And just because this video is kind of close to the end, we have a few more minutes, I'm just going to start talking about the build. So if you would like to find this house to move your sims into, I don't know what it's on and I don't know how much money it's worth, but you can find it in the gallery either under my name, Dilly Sims, oh wait, why do I keep calling myself that, that's a lie, that's my YouTube channel. You can find it in the gallery under my name, Dylan Apple, D-I-L-L-O-N-A-P-P-L-E, or you can also just type in the name or the house name and it's under Susan Mayer's house. Susan M E Y E R S house. And if you want to ever build me something or make something for me to see or characters for me to use on like a let's play, 
tag me in the gallery with the hashtag Dilly Sims. Or if you want to make a house for my fixer upper, and normally I would say this during my fixer uppers, you can always make me a house and I will 100% you. I can guarantee you 100% that I will find it and use it and fixer it upper. Fixer upper it. And you can, if you do want to go ahead and do that for me, you can tag me in the gallery with the hashtag FixMeDilly. If I X M E D I L L Y, fix me dilly. Okay, well, we're coming close to the end of the video, and there are screenshots coming along, so I'm gonna sign off right now. Like, subscribe, comment, do all those fun YouTube things, and I will catch you guys all next time. I think my next video that's coming out is a baby challenge. So, see you then. Bye, everybody.